What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I am going to be driving about 35, 34 minutes with traffic. Should be 25 miles. Easy drive. I've been in this area before. I'm going to Old Bridge, New Jersey to map three honey bursts. I want to see how it works. And I asked in my Discord server if it was worth it for me to drive this long, this distance. Gas right now is about $3.04 a gallon, I believe. And I have, let's see, I have 140 miles in range. So I should be able to get there and back, no problem, not having to stop for gas. But one of my friends and viewers, 619OTA, said, honey is more valuable than gas right now. And he has a good point. And I'm actually going to be earning money at this point in the cycle of hive mapper i will actually be earning honey for driving and i'll be earning money for driving so there's a couple ways to look at this if i was a doordash driver if i was an amazon driver ups any sort of job that requires driving you're double dipping on your earnings and you can earn i mean it's literally limitless how much you can earn you just have to drive during the day. So however many hours there are during the day with sunlight, you got to drive that time and you'll be, it's really cold in here. I'm kind of shaking and you'll be, um, making, you know, money more than the cost it is for gas, for repairs for your vehicle. That's the biggest thing when you look at this kind of stuff is, uh, I never wanted to do a delivery job because I didn't want to have wear and tear on my vehicle because it's just not cost effective in my opinion. But at this point, because honey is priced at what it's priced at, it's like 25 cents, I believe, as of this morning, you're making more money than you would doing anything else. I'm making more money than I would driving for Amazon, driving for UPS, driving for a pizza delivery, anything like that, Uber. Um, it's just crazy. So I'm gonna go map these. Um, we'll see if anything shows up like on my, uh, profile or on my hive map or app see if there's any updates for that also good just a rule of thumb when you get in your car you obviously have to let your hive mapper device boot up it takes about a minute and then all the lights are on so right now you can see all the lights are on and now i'm ready to go so this was a quick little introduction i'll probably video once i'm at the location all right so i'm at the road and uh, this is the end of it, it's no outlet, but I just wanna show you guys what's going on. Obviously don't do what I'm doing, you don't video while you're driving, but this isn't even like a, a real road. So I'm wondering if Hive Mapper just picks a place because look at like what I'm driving past. This is definitely a back road for semi trucks and trailers. Like you can see them all on the side of the road. In fact, it's pretty much a one way based on how they, these trucks are parking and now there's a garbage truck coming up so i'm probably gonna have to pull over um but i just wanted to show you guys like what i'm actually mapping right now it's nothing special and i'm um interested to know why they picked this place of all places because i mean there's not a lot of traffic that goes through here like i said there was a no outlet that one spot but the road does continue to a railroad crossing it looks like there's a railroad crossing here as well it's closed off it's abandoned for sure um, and then this this is it. So this was pretty much all that I had the map. Pretty easy. And now I'm gonna be driving about 35 minutes to get home. So I'm on my way back and I had a couple thoughts I just wanted to show you guys before I wrap up this video because that was pretty much it. I just wanted to drive to that area. I'm probably going to make a follow-up video. I believe payouts are on Thursday, so it will be next week talking about the bonuses and see how much honey I actually earned because I haven't been driving a lot uh, the past couple of weeks um, <clears throat> but I will be driving because I have to drive home from school for winter break for Christmas and everything <coughs> Woo, that just overcame me but I'm going to be going to different places over break and I'm going to be driving quite a lot more because I don't live uh, near anyone when I'm actually at home I have to drive quite far like 30 minutes every time I want to go somewhere so here are my closing thoughts. Some things I thought about on the way to go to this hive mapper thing was, wow, somebody in my Discord server is making $1,000 a week as their side hustle from hive mapper. On top of them already delivering and doing driving activities, such as semi truck, Amazon, UPS, anything like that. 
they actually made less money this week than they did with Hive Mapper. That's insane. That's absolutely crazy. Obviously, you can't count on the prices staying the same price for as long as they can. Like, things change. The market changes. There's many factors. Uh, we could go to war and everything could go to the go to, go to shit. That's just how things work. And wow, I haven't been in this area in like four years. It's kind of cool to be back in this area. Uh, but anyway, another thought would be if you're making $1,000 a week driving, you could, you could treat yourself. And don't take this as financial advice, but you could put a down payment on a new car, a new lease, or buy a new car outright, and your monthly payment, you'd be able to pay for free by driving. Your gas is going to be covered by driving for Hive Mapper. So essentially, you're getting free car, free gas. You might have to put some money down for down payment for the foreseeable future. We don't know how long this is going to last, but that's crazy to think about that you're actually able to essentially go on Carvana, whatever, whatever you want to do, pick out a car you want, go put the down payment down, and you might even have enough honey that you can sell for a down payment and just start paying weekly and drive and do Uber Eats or, or DoorDash or Amazon, anything like that, and you can pay for it all. Even better, if you were to work for UPS or FedEx, where they give you a truck, even USPS, because you're driving, most of your deliveries are during the daytime, you're also not using your own vehicle, you can seriously double dip and get a substantial, substantial amount of honey and in turn sell that for USD. Convert that into anything you want. Now the opposing thing is that you could hold on to that crypto in the hopes that it goes up and rightfully so. I think a lot of people, including myself, believe that Hive Mapper has a lot of potential but we really don't know what the future is going to hold. And I just think, I just drove by a cop, I had to lower my phone. I just think, all right, we're clear. This is reminding me, like I remember I made a video a couple of years ago, I believe two years ago, driving to go find some helium hotspots in the area. Now I'm recording a video driving to go find some high mapper bursts. It is like an uncanny, Resemblance, and it's reminding me so much of what's happening. Wow, I remember that wah wah. <laughs> um, it's just crazy that we've come so far and we're like still at the bottom. It's what it feels like because the backlogs are starting to pile up. We'll see. I'm, I'm honestly, uh, based on the amount of referral sales I have gotten over the past, and I'm being crystal clear with you guys, I don't want to sugarcoat anything with you guys. But based on the amount of referral sales I've gotten over the since the start of December, um, it just it seems to me like it, it is it is ramping up. Orders are ramping up, and I think we're going to see in the next couple of days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, we're going to get another announcement from Hive Mapper saying that orders are now postponed until March, and then we're going to get another one, April. May and I think that's what's going to happen and let me rephrase that they're not postponed but if you were to order now it's backlogged until then because they're still constantly shipping uh, but I just wanted to make that clear if you were to order today you would not get it until February so today's December 14th um, I, I'm gonna finish mapping I got about 5,000 uh, or 6,000 images on my device and I just took the wrong exit. That's great. I wasn't paying attention. That's going to add a lot of time to my <laughs> to my departure. Uh-oh. But we'll see what happens. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in co comment section below. And uh, now I got to figure out where I'm going. My phone is lagging because I'm recording. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.